All right, guys, you might think that I'm crazy because I'm wearing this cable right here, but this cable is actually a cable that is way compatible with the Oculus Link. It's going to allow us to not only develop applications faster, but we're gonna be able to debug them as well. So I wanna show you where you can get this cable that it's going to be uh, USB-C to USB 3.0, which you can see right here. And we're gonna be able to launch the Oculus Rift experiences. It's also going to allow us to debug our applications within Unity. So let's jump into my computer and start looking at it. All right, guys, so you can see the scene that I showed you on the previous video. And one of the things that I wanted to do is run this on the device and but not run it completely on the device, meaning that I can run it right from Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by running in Windows. So you can see that I'm running on the desktop, meaning that this is running just like it would on the Oculus Rift. You can pick everything up. We can see the reflections showing, get the hammer, get the helmet, put it over there. And then you can see everything is just working just fine. And I can look at, yeah, look at the sun and everything works. So, how can we make this work and what do, what do you need to do to make it work in Unity? I'm just going to go ahead and hit play so we can pause. Okay, so in order to do that, to be able to run it in Windows, you're going to need what's called an Oculus Link Cable. And there's two options right now. You can either get the one from Amazon, from Oculus Quest. It's currently out of order officially, but you can get it from these people, which is actually a pretty high price. It's 138 And I'm sure this is the highest quality and everything, but I think it's really pricey. The other option, which is the option that I went with, which is the one that I just show you now that is working just fine, is to get the one from Anchor Company, which is a USB charger. This one works with, you know, USB-C over USB 3.0. Make sure that the one that you have has the blue colors right there that I'm, you know, that I'm selecting because that means that you can transfer data, you can also charge, and it's going to work and going to be compatible with the Oculus Link. So. Now that we looked at those two cables, you should be able to run everything here. One of the things that I want to show you is some of the packages that I have installed. So let's go ahead and go into the package manager. And I want to make sure that you know what you'll need, which is going to be by clicking on the project. So this experience only has two different packages. I have the Oculus XR plugin. The version that I'm using right now is 1.1.5. The version of the XR interaction toolkit that you're going to need is going to be 0.9.3. And those are the two that I you know, that are gonna be required. The reason why I'm running in Windows is because the only way that I've been able to get this to work is in Windows, because that's where I have the application, the desktop application that you see right now. If we go to devices, you're gonna see that the Quest and Touch is actually active. This is gonna give you some warnings, and I think it's because the, the, the actual cable that I'm using is not the official cable. So what you wanna get to, though, is this has to say connected. The not headset audio, I think I'm okay because the audio that I'm getting is from the computer. This is not the audio that is coming from the Reef. Like the Reef actually has an audio headset. In this case, I don't have one and that's fine because my speakers are serving as audio. So just make sure that that shows you as being connected and that the device, you know, is actually, is, is actually communicating. So now you, that you can see that you should be able to hit play. And like I showed you in just a few seconds ago, you're going to see that as soon as you hit play, it's going to open the Oculus application. And that means that everything is getting connected. So the other things that I had to do as well, specifically for this experience, is go into the build settings, then go into player settings. And we're going to go into the XR plugin management. This is not going to be the Android option. You're going to have the Android option and, and basically add the Oculus loader. That, that is if you want to add it and actually run it on the device. In my case, I don't want to run it on the device. I actually want to run it on the desktop because I want to take you know, full control of the device in Unity. So make sure that you select the desktop one and also add the Oculus Loader. If you don't have the Oculus Loader, that means that you don't have the Oculus XR plugin. So make sure you click on Install, and then you click on this plus symbol. It's going to allow you to select the Oculus Loader. Couple more things that I want, I want to recommend you do to make sure that you can see Bloom, you can see the post-processing effects. Make sure that you change this to high. The I actually had it in medium. It wasn't showing the bloom, so I changed it to high. It might not be the best performance, but I wanted to make sure that everything looked the way that I set it up. And if you want to do optimizations, that is up to you. And the last thing that you need to do is go into graphics. Make sure that you have instance, instance in variance set to a strip on use. 
that means that it's only going to be selecting the variants that are go it's going to need. The other thing that I also set is I set this to the size of one. I created a new sh shader variant, and I did that by saving a new asset. I save it into the assets folder, and then I just change this number to a one and associated that. So I'll just show you here really quick how that works. You can just click on save. In my case, I already have it, so I'm not going to click on save again. And then what you'll do is you change this to a one, associate the shader variant to the component that you have under assets, and then that's going to make it run a little faster. I normally I'm running in about five to five to seven minutes build time. Sometimes it takes up to ten minutes, and I heard people, you know, that their builds are taking hours. So I did that. I also tried just doing a strip all, and that also made it a lot faster. So just make sure you tweak those settings. But the big thing from this video is being able to run this on the in, in the Unity Editor, and that's something that I haven't been able to do until today. So make sure you get the cable. I'm going to be putting the links to these two cables in the description of this video, and you're, you know, you're welcome to select which option works for you best. Thank you very much, guys.